Hey Dudleys, it's Dave Desai. Today we have a tea galore. We have Jungkook and BTS members allegedly in danger. We have Jungkook possibly getting emotional over a huge invasion of privacy and then some shirtless what appears to either be a bedroom or bathroom pictures. So hey or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, he's filling mug merch and let's get into it. We have been seeing a lot of ARM recently and I'm not complaining. I really enjoy his sound and his ability to be very diverse. The album is all over the place in terms of genre. Genre, but it's not a bad thing as I was hearing some people complain about that. We get to see his entire range and his ability to be a chameleon. Not many artists can adapt and change like that. We have recently been seeing him put out some visualizers and music videos and he really has a unique aesthetic. One that I haven't seen entirely from any other artist. The visuals that he chooses are very beautiful and stunning. This no doubt comes from his passion for museums and art. When I used to do videography professionally, I followed this style of trying to make every shot similar to a photograph. Since I was a photographer first, I didn't know how to shoot video. However, I did not invent this approach to video. I don't know who did. So the video end product became almost like a moving photography book. And so if you look through the shots of the Wildflower music video, it will have that similar photography turned to video look and feel. Of course, I am a fan of that. If you want to see me fangirl and obsess over all the shots and cry a little bit on the music video, I do that over on Patreon. Would love to have you join. We have a great time over there, link in the description. Now backtracking just a little bit, we were all super excited to see RM's teaser photos and concept photos before the music video dropped. He even did a pretty emotional cover photo for the album. At first glance, it might just seem like a very simple moody photo with no big meaning other than RM just looking pensive and then we get the idea that the album is very deep or more sad. When RM was explaining the artwork, he broke down what it means as someone as simple minded as myself would definitely not have picked up on it. What we see in the artwork is obviously a painting, RM, and then some jeans on a stool. Keep in mind this album was created during the grueling time of quarantine and all that. The jeans serve as a reminder of his time. He actually did wear all those jeans and those are his. He also often uses that stool, likely something that he has written music on or had emotional thoughts while sitting. Now the painting is definitely notable as well. The painting is from someone named Yan Hyung Kyun, who has apparently died already, RM. IP. This was the last artwork that he did before he found his signature style. So probably right before he blew up or really found himself. So this is the perfect photo to use to symbolize RM's coming of age with his new album. Of course there's cute photos like that but another photo started to circulate and people thought it was steaming. There was an effect on the photo that appeared like glass and so people thought it was either a bathroom or bedroom photo because it appeared like RM was nude or shirtless in the photo. And we can see his muscles. The photo had his body in a more silhouette form and we really can't see any detail to know if he's actually shirtless or not, which leaves that up for interpretation. But a lot of people were saying he was naked. I personally think he was wearing a shirt. And so you're probably thinking, what does this photo mean? Well, it's probably just a photo telling you that he knows that he's hot. So moving on. There's been many videos and clips surfacing. I think what is interesting about TikTok is that a lot of old content can just get repurposed and reused. Then cause it to resurface back to relevancy. There was an older Bon Voyage episode where the boys were traveling and they were on a helicopter. This was edited in a funny way and the poster added what seemed to be a random person screaming but made it appear like the members were screaming. This was added because in the clip we see Arm open the door to the helicopter and it was made to appear like the boys were freaking out over the door opening. The edit included moments where Jungkook was allegedly hurting and freaking out but was really fine. Jungkook is actually the biggest address adrenaline junkie out of all of them and probably would have loved to even jump out of the helicopter. And all the other members like J-Hope and V were screaming in the edit. Now in case you didn't know, because most of us are not planeologists, so if you're on a plane and you open the door while the plane is in air, which is actually physically impossible because it's so heavy, you'll get sucked right out. But the difference is helicopters don't go that high, so having the door open or some helicopters not even having doors is perfectly safe. So if you go to the original original clip and moments from the episode, you'll probably quickly discover that members did scream or yell, but it was more out of excitement than it was out of fear that they were going to get sucked out. After the clip was posted and went viral, people who had not seen the episode were thinking that RM endangered everyone and that everyone was hurting or scared for their life. However, from the original clip, we are able to see everyone is fine and RM did not risk anyone's life. Now, before anyone decides to hate or yell at the editor and poster, 
Spencer for making this edit. This was all in good fun. Armies do this all the time to take a fun moment and make it even more dramatic by adding sound effects and funny things. I would also assume that the editor didn't realize people would take the situation as fact and probably assumed that anyone that came across their edit would have already seen the original episode and know that their edit was a joke. I think this is so funny and to be honest, I am so dramatic. If I was on that helicopter and arm opened that door, I would scream like that. I repeat, no one was hurt. All the members were fine and arm opened the door probably to just get a better look and nothing was an issue. What Jungkook might have actually been mad about, if it's real, is the constant alleged invasion of privacy. There has been an increase in sussing activity and people have been very worried for the safety of all the members, especially when the boys travel and there's seemingly a bunch of people outside the boys' hotel like when Jungkook was in Qatar. Now showing up to a hotel and waiting outside patiently to greet the celebrity, it's not ideal, but there's nothing wrong with this. And this doesn't hurt the idol. However, where I can see the concern coming from is if there's so many people there, you'd have to expect that one person is not going to be on their best behavior, or one of the people there might not be sane and would decide to pretend to be a customer of the hotel to get in and find Jungkook. The incident I want to talk about today is not from Qatar, but a moment that had been talked about recently. It was alleged a while ago that Jungkook may have had his underwear stolen. Someone took a picture with the caption claiming that they took Jungkook's underwear and snapped a picture right outside the hotel on the floor. Why they decided to take a photo of underwear on the floor, I don't know. But this person is clearly not thinking right. Do I believe this is actually a photo of Jungkook's underwear? No, I think it's literally just anyone's underwear just taken on the street. Is there a possibility that it's Jungkook's? Yeah, but I think what a lot of people like to do is make an outrageous claim for attention and that is seemingly what this is. I highly doubt a Sasing would have been able to get into the hotel to get something this private and simply making this up and posting it on social media is just outrageous enough that the fandom would believe it. If I sat here and claimed that this was 100% true, I don't know how many people would object because it sounds possible given the amount of people that wait outside of BTS members hotel. But in my opinion here, there isn't enough evidence for this underwear to actually be Jungkook's. I haven't seen him wearing this specific brand and even if he did, many people wear the same brand of underwear, right? And if you actually did steal it, would you put it on the floor for a picture? Wouldn't you run home and then take a picture? Because if you're still in the area, then you'll probably get caught. Once you break into a hotel, you're probably going to be monitored and chased after. Which brings up another Another question of really sick and bored people that like to pretend to be some of the most hated people in the world. Why would you want to pretend to be a stalker? It's the worst because if Hype feels that there has been a real invasion of privacy, they have to also look into these fake stalkers posting fake photos of BTS members things just to rule out the fakers. I just sometimes don't understand why a lot of these people are so bored. Like put this energy, whether you are a real stalker or a fake one, into other things that need your time. Why not put that energy into bettering yourself, studying harder in school, or even perfecting your own craft to be a super singer and dancer so you can be an idol and marry an idol? Why would your favorite idol marry a stalker? Like actually trying to be what the idol might want to date? Look at Haley and Justin Bieber. Haley was a fangirl turned wife. You can be that, but instead of working on your career, you stalk or be delusional. Okay, whatever. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.